Tyson. She's faint, but she's got a pulse. Do you need any help? I'll get some backup. I've got this one. The license plates were covered. I couldn't, I couldn't make them out. Can you get us a trolley? We've got a big line in here, please. What's going on? Unknown female, found unconscious outside. She says it's seen seven and not improving. Primary survey okay, nil else is secondary, apart from a tender abdomen. We need to get her intubated quickly. Oh, Mr. Jimenez. Oh. All right, no point keeping her down here. Need to have a good look at that. Bloods? Yes, FPCs, using ease, squatting, LFTs, amylase, and group insane. Could you organise an abdomen head CT? Mm -hmm. Would you bring ahead to Mr. Griffin and ask him to meet me in theatre? Sure. Uh, Dr. Griffin on AAU, planning to organise. Is everything all right? I thought you two were meet. We are. Oh, hello there. I'm Mr. Durant, your consultant. This is Nurse Tyson. You know, normally it's babies that are left on hospital doorsteps, but uh, if you want to call us mum and dad... No, 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 easy now. You really mustn't do that. <laughs> get away! Shall I get some sedation? Not yet. I oh, don't mind that when she breaks your nose. You're going to be OK. You're going to be OK. There was a clot, but we took care of it. You know, whoever operated on you made a real mess. You're incredibly lucky. Uh, uh, you really are Mr. Popular tonight, uh, isn't you? I know. Must take wonders for my confidence. Oh, don't worry. I still like you. Irritation as the anaesthetic wears off? No, you're right. Giving you that much information would be risky. Tell you what. Why don't you write it down and I'll promise to eat the piece of paper once I've looked at the answer. You really do have nothing to fear here, you know. I don't even have to tell me why you did it. I certainly won't ask who. But I do need to know that the care we're giving you is working. No reaction of anaesthetic pain, but the morphine is helping. Dry mouth. I have, yes. You sound like you know your stuff. You're a nurse, doctor. Thank you. Not too much one of little sips. Where do you live? You speak very good English. Thank you. I mean, forgive me asking, but what's a nice girl like you doing in a situation like this? I tell you enough to look after me. Are you the secretive of the people who almost killed you? I mean, you nearly died by there, you know. Another half hour and you might have. Surely there's someone somewhere that this means something to. A husband, a brother, a... Oh. Uh, what's your brother's name? I'm tired now. Could I at least let her know you're OK? Did he travel with you? You know, there used to be a time when the worst you could do was sell your dignity, but now you can sell your body parts. I mean, isn't that amazing, the advances medicine's made? Well, we do a little bit. Mm -hmm. When the rules aren't stopping us. You don't strike me as the kind of person that lets anything stop him. What about the rule preventing me from asking you out? I didn't know there was one. No? There are considerations, though. I can be very considerate. I met my son. It's just a matter of scheduling, isn't it? I mean, who's looking after him while you're at work? Oh, his dad. Ah. It's the kind of consideration I'm more used to. Oh, well. Say la vie. <laughs> Think someone must have slipped something in my coffee. Really? Found a quiet corner, the cash on my paperwork, and wham, out like a light. Well, lying down with the light up might have something to do with it. Listen, of course Max has a dad. It's all part of the creating a child deal. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he's in Max's life, but that is the only reason he's in mine. Understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. So, if I'm not mistaken, you're about to ask me something. Would you like to have a drink with me after work? At eight in the morning. Yeah, and those place those fantastic fruit smoothies. Makes you feel so much better about ordering the full English breakfast afterwards. <sighs> I'll think about it. 
Meantime, I've got a prezi for you. This was found in the ambulance bay, so we might have a name for Miss Missing Kidney 2006. I could kiss you. Is that all? To you, that's nothing. Oh, it's not nothing, but I wouldn't sell my kidney for it. And you have hi-fi and TV you could sell too? Don't talk to me about being broke. Credit cards, no? Yeah. I try not to use them, only in emergencies. Save me here for this. Look at you, my love. You nearly died. You've lost a kidney, and I'm guessing, but you're probably two grand light as well. So they put the money in your bank account? Hey, look, they might keep their word. All right, they might. People who throw you out of cars do not keep their words. <laughs> My side hurts. Let's um, get you back into bed. <laughs> Sharp dabbing. I think the anaesthetic is fully gone now. The fluids are empty. Can you change the bag? Let's um, have a look. She doesn't like me. No, that's not true. <laughs> I imagine you're very similar. Those proud women will do anything for their families. What was that about? Oh, nothing, just talking post-operative care. Looked a bit more familiar than that. <laughs> what, you think any beautiful black woman will do? You agree that she's beautiful, then? She's not the one I bought egg mayonnaise sandwiches for. Oh. Thought we could eat them together. Lovely. Thank you. Um, look, Briggs got me on a bit of a short leash at the minute. I just need uh, five minutes to myself. You couldn't make something up, could you, just to distract him? I'm a really bad liar. <laughs> You'd be the first woman that was. Look, I just need a moment. I'll get some cold drinks for the size. Um, Mr. Griffin, can I have a word? What's he up to? Honest, I have no idea. Look, his heart is always in the right place, but if you let him, he'll drag you into something you don't deserve. <sighs> Rochelle, can I have some help you, please? Wait. Let me put this on you now. Your friend, the doctor, I need to give him my address in Zambia. Yeah, all right, fine. Breathe in for me. The doctor will be in a minute. Thanks for the blood. That one is distended. We need to go to the theatre now. Sister Tyson, page on corner please. Uh -huh. Let's go. Sorry if I got you into trouble. You all right? Not really, no. Yeah, she doesn't make it. It's a shame, but she was kind of playing with fire. Her brother's dying of AIDS. They're broke. He needs the money for his daily cocktail. So she sold a kidney? Wouldn't you? I honestly don't know. No, he's got no money for drugs and no sister to look after him. I'm talking about getting burnt. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that, all right? And you can't claim the moral high ground if you knew the full story. I'm sorry, I'm just not feeling a bit raw. I'm trying to help us all. I mean, now, well. Help how? Doesn't matter. Keeping me in the dark again. Did I get into trouble with Rick? I didn't really do anything. Like I said, I'm a terrible liar. He did try to warn me off you, though. Well, I've probably got a point. But he did say that your heart's in the right place. But what good it does. I think you do a lot of good. OK. Ow. Abra, I don't know what you're doing, and I don't want to know, but don't use me again, all right? Yeah, of course not. You're a tough one, aren't you? I haven't met anyone tougher. You want to remember that if you take me to breakfast? See you downstairs, 15 minutes. <sighs> you ready? You bet. <sighs> Seems like ages since we were here last night. Yeah. Turning out to be a nice day after all. Oh, 